It's a reminder of the constant power of Mother Nature. Ian causing all types of damage across the first coast, including destroying the pier here at Flagler Beach. More than just planks of wood next to the beach, the pier at Flagler Beach was an icon in the area. It was also home to the Funky Pelican restaurant. Manager Crystal Nobre is still assessing the damage. Seeing devastation to the pier, you know, we're the staple to the Flagler Beach and seeing it, it you know, it's, it's devastating, it puts you to tears. Many people who live in the area came to see what happened to a landmark that has stood proud since the 1920s. It is really sad. It's, it's, it's incredible to see what nature can do, but it's sad to see what it does to everything else. And while the waves may have destroyed the pier, that same water is somewhat of a welcome sight to Benjamin Lacey. He brought his son to go surfing. What you're waiting for is for it to turn offshore, which is this morning. So this is a surfer's dream today because it's going to be offshore all day. Um, it's going to clean up quite a bit. Wind's going to go straight west and uh, should be pretty fun this afternoon. Out of the water and with time to think about the devastation, recovery is already in the works. And we're Flagler strong. We'll bounce back. You know, as soon as we get power, we're going to take care of everybody. Plans were already in place to build a new pier at Flagler Beach. Of course, now that this one has been destroyed, those plans will need to go in motion. Reporting in Flagler Beach, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.